हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज योर फ्रेंडली नेबरहुड पीडियट्रिशियन डॉक्टर आदित्य भट्ट एंड टुडे विल डिस्कस अ बिट अबाउट एच एल एच वॉट इज एच एल एच एच एल एच इज द शॉर्ट फॉर्म फॉर हिमैटो फैगोसाइटो फैगोसाइटिक लिम्फो हिस्टियोसाइटोसिस इट इज अ एबनॉर्मैलिटी इन द नेचुरल किलर सेल लाइन ऑफ द सेल्स बोन मैरो सेल्स and there is a unregulated proliferation of this cells which causes a myriad of symptoms now there are two types of hlh one is primary hlh which is due to genetic causes and uh, there are no exacerbating factors while the secondary hlh usually follows infections like malaria dengue or leptospirosis or it may follow infections with epstein barr virus or there it might follow uh, the pre, uh, it might follow uh, diseases like uh, sle and uh, sjogren's disease so it is also called as macrophage activating syndrome so that is secondary hlh but today we'll discuss something about primary hlh now for the diagnosis of primary hlh you need any five of this eight criteria one two so if you have five criteria you can label it as hlh uh, this is uh, again i am telling you that we are talking only about primary hlh and not secondary hlh so for primary hlh the first thing the criteria you need is fever without fever you cannot diagnose hlh there is always and always fever and please suspect hlh in patients who have un, who have continuous fever very high grade fever and you are not finding any cause of fever then please suspect hlh uh, nowadays there is also another entity called as misc multi inflammatory uh, syndrome in children and we'll also discuss that in further lectures so uh, but also consider it it is also a kawasaki like disease which causes uh, you know continuous fever and uh, if you have any uh, if you do not have any other cause please think about hlh uh, we'll also get into how to diagnose hlh so first thing you need is fever that is continuous in nature and high grade and the patient uh, is usually very very uncomfortable due to this the next thing you need is a uh, splenomegaly splenomegaly is usually acute in nature and there is a sudden enlargement of uh, left in uh, uh, left superior quadrant and you might find splenomegaly when you palpate the patient uh, there are presence of cytopenias now what are cytopenias there is a uh, hb either less than 9 or there might be thrombocytopenia or there might be neutrophilia neutropenia neutropenia less than 1000 so this is another criteria that occurs in uh, uh, hlh then there is hypertriglyceridemia which is usually more than 150 okay then next there might be hypofibrogenemia hypofibro genemia also they are there in the patient there uh, is when you do a bone marrow biopsy of this patient or if you do a splenic biopsy in this patient you find hemophagocytes phagocytes phagocytes in bone marrow or spleen on biopsy then uh, when you do estimation of natural killer activity there is low or absent natural killer activity uh, then ferritin is more than 500 nanogram per deciliter and there is soluble cd25 soluble CD twenty five is more than twenty four hundred IU per ml. So out of these eight criteria, if you have at least five criteria present, then you label the patient as 
एच एल एच नाउ द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ एच एल एच इनिशियली इट वॉज रेकमेंडेड दैट वी गिव डेक्जोना फॉर द एटलीस्ट टेन डेज एंड इट बिगन्स एट टेन एम जी पर मीटर स्क्वेयर ऑफ बॉडी सर्फेस एरिया देन फाइव देन टू पॉइंट फाइव देन वन पॉइंट टू फाइव बट नाव अड इज पल्स डोसेज ऑफ मिथाइल प्रेडनिसोलोन एट थर्टी मिलीग्राम पर के जी इज रेकमेंडेड एज द ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस फॉर एच एल एच and if the patient does not respond to methyl prednisolone or if the patient is uh, is in shock or is uh, has very severe symptoms then you might consider giving ivig intravenous immunoglobulin at the dose of 2 g per kg and uh, as you know that like other autoimmune disease you can also give other drugs like cyclophosphamide tacrolimus uh, but they are as you know that they are not easily available in our country so if you are asked the drug of choice for hls the drug of choice remains methyl prednisolone pulse doses and then the other drugs that are preferred are dexona ivig rituximab cyclosporin tacrolimus cyclophosphamide uh, i guess you ho- I-, i hope you like this lecture and if you like please give a like share and subscribe and please give uh, please send this uh, video to other who might be benefited thank you